It's safe to say that Nike Dunks have definitely taken over the sneaker game. And it's not even sneakerheads that are only rocking Dunks anymore. You step foot outside, I promise you, you're going to see somebody young, somebody old, rocking a pair of Dunks. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys 5 sneaker rules when it comes to buying or wearing Nike Dunks. Before we get into it, if you guys like fashion, if you like sneakers, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So rule number one when it comes to Dunks, you want to keep in mind, heat over cheap. Now this one is tricky because I always tell you guys you don't want to spend too much money on sneakers unless you really like that pair of sneakers and you just have to have them. But when it comes to dunks it's always best to spend a little more to get the pair you actually want. Let's say you really want the gym red Nike dunks but the price is a little high so you go and look for a cheaper option like the 75th anniversary Chicago dunk. Now it may sound tempting at first because you're saving some money but I'm telling you guys I've made this mistake myself. You don't want to buy a cheaper version, then get it in hand and realize you don't like it and then you just really won't wear it. Then you'll realize you should have just saved up a little more and got the pair you actually wanted. Rule number two when it comes to dunks. Dunks don't always equal a good outfit. Now I just know you've seen a ton of fire outfits on your Instagram explore page with people rocking dunks. But remember, the shoes don't always make the fit. And just because you might spend $400 on your sneaker, doesn't mean your outfit is going to automatically look good. You can't neglect the rest of your outfit. Trust me, it just won't look right. So if you're on a budget, make sure you don't spend too much over retail to the point that you can't afford a nice hat, t-shirt, or jeans. Rule number three when it comes to dunks. Keep materials in mind. Now dunks come in so many colors and so many materials. And if you spend a bunch of money on a dunk, you want to make sure you at least take care of them. Now summer's coming up so you don't have to worry about it too much because any material is good for summer. But once you get into those colder months, you want to make sure you keep materials in mind. For example, if the weather calls for rain, I highly suggest you don't wear any suede dunks. And here's why. When rain hits suede, it's completely ruined. The material will get nasty and in some cases, cause discoloration. So remember, if the weather calls for rain, just stick to leather. Before we continue on with today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Simply Carbon Fiber. They specialize in accessories with real carbon fiber. They have everything from phone cases, card holders, watches, and even sunglasses. One of my favorites is the Slim Wallet I use on a daily basis. It's lightweight, sleek, looks cool, and just all around good to have rather than carrying around a huge bulky wallet. I also use their iPhone case which is great for protection but also just looks cool. I highly recommend you check some of the products out. Head over to simplycarbonfiber.com slash GT. You can also use my discount code GT10 for 10% off. So step up your accessory game this summer with Simply Carbon Fiber. Rule number four, expensive doesn't always equal heat. Now this is probably one of the most common misconceptions in the sneaker community. Just because it's super limited or really expensive doesn't mean it actually looks good. I'm telling you guys this because you don't have to spend a ton of money on one pair of sneakers just because they're hyped and exclusive to look good or feel good. You can be in a general release pair of dunks and still look better than the guy who paid a thousand dollars for his dunks just because you're more confident and your outfit meshes better with the dunks. Rule number five, know your size. This one might sound dumb, but it's super important. All sneakers fit differently, but if you plan to pick up a pair of dunks, I definitely recommend you go true to size. Now they're a bit more narrow than the Air Force ones and a little wider than the Jordan ones. And if you're one of those guys who just hates creases, I definitely recommend you go down half a size. That way it'll be less likely for your dunks to crease. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. Let me know what your favorite dunk is in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>